Hello all, John PT, Dan with Sandler Training. How are we doing, Dan? Hey, John. Great. Thank you. Excellent. So as a kid growing up, I lived in Australia for a year. I was pretty young. I don't remember a lot. I was between ages five and six. My father went on the scientist exchange program. A lot of terrific things came back from Australia. If you know anything about it, we came home with things like a didgeridoo and a lot of boomerangs and things you would expect from Australia. And one of the things my father tried to teach me relative to a boomerang is you, you, the concept around you don't want to get hit by the thing you throw or sell. So it got me thinking from a sales side, sometimes we tee ourselves up in a negative way. Maybe we're talking about a competition and we get into speaking poorly about them and then it sort of boomerangs back at us and catches us in a bad way. So I'm always cautious about sometimes how far we extend ourselves into a zone that maybe we really don't know as much as we should or we're not staying true to our, our values and principles on things and then it kind of comes back around to bite us in the butt and then there are little examples where maybe we're doing a front contract but we don't we skip the no part we focus on the yes part and it comes back to get us at the end of the call so i think there's a lot of little examples too can you can you talk about how we salespeople tend to to do that behavior and in, and it bites us. It hurts us. Sometimes. It almost bites us just in life in general, right? Yeah. yeah. I, you know, you hear it called karma or or yin and yang or whatever, right? Sure. It's, it's 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 almost whatever you cast upon people, that's what comes back to you. Yep. There's a tremendous amount of truth to that, regardless of the reason why. We just all know yes. that. If I'm angry at people, it's amazing how angry they become at me <laughs> as an example. Yep. Sales is interesting because we get so emotional in the sales process and becoming emotionally attached to things, we start doing things that aren't normal to us. Yes. And so maybe that's the first lesson, John, is when we're on a sales call, when we're prospecting or we're selling, is to stay more intellectual and less emotional. And when you're intellectual, you start to hold true to yourself. So, so that might be the first thing. The, the second thing is, of course, we need to have a sales process. If you know every step of what you're going to do, it's easy to adhere to that. You're not shooting from the hip. So, right. to and then maybe the third thing is just be honest about stuff. You know, salespeople always complain. I just wish the prospect would be honest with me. <laughs> well, but there's a lot of salespeople that aren't honest with prospects. And so yep. maybe that's a great place to start. So anyway, hope those three things help. Yeah, I, I think the honesty side and the emotional side really resonate with me. When I became very pragmatic about sales and, and more frank about them, it really helped me a lot. Now, part of that, I think, is my approach to things. And it works for me. Um, but the other thing that it did for me is I became less most emotionally involved mm. because the the facts, the information, we, we've all got the same stuff now. Let's talk it through. Let's talk about decisions. And if you're doing a great job at asking detailed, deep questions, the emotions will come from the prospect side. Mm -hmm. And we know people buy emotionally and the person more emotionally involved, like you described, we, we talk about losing, but you know, if the salesperson is more emotionally involved, they tend to not get what they want out of the process. Mm -hmm. If I could add one thing here, so you don't know this about me, but I also throw boomerangs. In fact, I have a whole mess of them. Oh, wow. And yeah. what's intriguing to me is when I go out to throw, how people are attracted to that. Yes. They come to watch, they want to, they want to do it. I think it's because number one, it's, or maybe the only reason it's so unusual. And, and so let me little twist on what we're talking about. If you have a selling system and you hold true to your philosophies and the things that are important to you, you become unusual. Yes. We'll get attracted to that. And, and so maybe that's kind of a, a different wrap up from the boomerang thing, but be unusual and people will want to be around you. Yeah, we talk a lot about being different. Don't be the same thing they hear a thousand times that's numbing to them. Yes. And stick to your guns. You bet. Agree. Okay. Take care. All right, everyone. See you again.